Okay, so we'll contact Edinburgh. You're not allowed to make fun of my comms. <laughs> Your okay. comms are pretty good to be fair. <laughs> pretty good. Okay, so we'll ask them for a transit. See if they're nice today and allow me to do it. So, first of all, might be worth. When, when, you, when you call them, just say you should have the details in your system. Okay. If they look it up and that's easier for them. Edinburgh Radar Golf Bravo Hotel, Juliet Oscar, with your request uh, zone transit. Call and stand by, call back. Circus 7 path of Victor, turn left 10 degrees, report the heading. Turn left 10 degrees, and the new heading is 295. Confirm left heading. Hey, from left. Left 295. So, that, so you can see the lock there, which is quite nice. There, you've got a lot of uh, glider activity just to the side of that. Yeah, we see the yeah. Just have to be careful when you fly, especially from the north. They've got the bridges down there. Yep. I don't know what he's doing, but he's not calling me back. 7 Papa Victor, descent altitude 3,000 feet. Altitude 3,000 feet, 37 Papa Victor. And Golf Bravo Hotel J. Oscar, if you called, flash message. Good morning, Golf uh, Bravo Hotel J. Oscar. Hopefully, you should have our details. We're PA 28, 5 to 5. The uh, Kelty bridges overhead, Arthur C. Exit at Musbra, currently 1,700 just north of Kelty. Request uh, zone transit. Got to Oscar Roger, have those basic service QNH 1008, squawk 0430. Basic service, QNH 1008, squawk 0430, Golf, uh, Julie Oscar. And zero, Turkey 7, Path Vector, turn right, heading 335. Right 335, 37, double Got to Oscar, report your altitude now. Uh, 1700 on the 1008, Golf, Julie Oscar. I'll probably tell you, Oscar, clear time to control the airspace, not above altitude 2,000 feet VFR to the bridges, and that's your clearance limit. Roger, clear time to zone, not above 2,000 feet VFR, and initial clearance for the bridges, Golf Julie Oscar. Okay, so it's actually really Turn easy. Seven, five, right, turn All right, you need to do is follow the runway to the waterway, all the way to the bridges. Five, Obviously, you can see it's a really good landmark. And people tend to get lost in all the electronics, and they just don't look uh, outside enough. But the most important skill you need as a pilot is anticipation, right? So the controller just cleared me all the way to the to the uh, bridges. I can see where that is, so I know I'm heading in the right direction. What is going to happen next, right? He's probably going to want to over the, the bridge. I'll tell him, okay, well, I can see Golf the airfield. Oscar, crash and Golf Julie Oscar, radar control service. Golf Julie Oscar. Um, so... Golf Julie Oscar, clearance is the bridges for armor clearance contact tower, 118.705, goodbye. Switching to tower, 118.705, Golf Julie Oscar. One sec. That's it. By oh, just making sure no one else is talking. Edward Tower, good morning. Golf Bravo Hotel Julie Oscar is with you, squawking 0430, just uh, two miles south of Kelty. Bravo Hotel Julie Oscar, Edward Tower, good afternoon, uh, good morning. I report at the south bank of the bridges. Report south bank of the bridges, Golf Julie Oscar. Okay, so I'm clear not to the south bank, which is I usually report North Tower, uh, just to give them a bit of time. Yeah. It all depends on if you sound really switched on. We like to get you close because it's easier to cross you. If you sound yep. a bit nervy, we'll maybe get you to report the North Bank, or maybe you know just hold at the bridges. Yep. Um, but like on that video you showed, you know. Turkish Papa Victor, inbound 06. That's Turkish. Turkish Seven Papa Victor, Edinburgh Tower, good morning. Runway 06. Ask you if you're familiar with Kirk Mistman, get you close. It's just easier. Sorry, I'm just trying to just repeat what yeah, I can hear you. It's just really, really deep. Yeah, well, that's really quiet. That's better. That's better. I said if you sound really switched on on the RT, you're happy to get them in close to you so on the way there, you can hear them. Yeah, that's better. 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 Yeah, that's Especially when we're busy in the gap, but if you sound a little nervy, uh, you kind of get that feeling, you know, so it's... Yeah, got you. We're building a little more leeway. I see, you can tell there's the bridges there uh, now, and I can see the airfield. So again, you're anticipating, right? That was my first point, what's my next point will be the airfield. I can see it, I've been listening to radio, is there any other traffic that's going to come in? Usually they ask us, 
to uh, fly above or behind uh, kind of landing or yep. taking, uh, aircraft taking off. So you want to think about those things before he actually asks you to do so. So again, just anticipating, right? Constant game. So just looking at an airplane, you know, it's very stable, mm -hmm. on the right settings, everything's still in the green, everything's looking good. So the cloud base is looking a little bit better, so I'm just going to climb a little bit, so I'm going to increase my power here. Hello, we'll maybe climb to 1,900, just to give us a little bit of space with the tower. Okay, we're now a little bit much higher altitude. Okay. Have you ever flown this area before? So have you seen this from the sky before? Not for a long time. Yeah. At least 15 years. So you'll see on the left side, you've got the old bridge, which is gorgeous. Sure. Obviously, it's a good day visibility-wise. If you actually look, Matt, all the way to the left, you can see uh, the mount at North Berwick. Why at the very tip down there? A pretty decent day for flying. So again, I'm approaching the South Bank now. I can see the airfield. I've sure. not heard any incoming airplane for a little while now, so I think hopefully we should be. be pretty, I can actually see one landing right now. If yeah, you look got it, at yeah. the end there. I don't know if he'll clear me for midpoint, or he might ask me to pass behind before. We'll see what happens. Call in now, see what he says. Check my altitude here a little bit. Golf Twin Oscars, uh, over at South Bank at 2001 We have uh, visual near field. Golf Twin Oscars, thank you very much. Through the overhead, report south of runway 06. Perfect overhead, we'll report south of uh, 06, Golf Twin Oscar. Okay. Okay. That's my favorite, because I like it when you guys clear us for right the, of the middle of the overhead. That's sure. the nicest view. So it's got the United 75 taxi now. Oh, there. yeah. With KLM behind, so. Okay, so that's us back at 1,900. Just sure. check my trim. Going to maybe a little bit on downward profile. Just out a little bit. It's never perfect, but yeah, it's good. Good morning. Uh, United 39 is ready at runway 6. United 39, Edward Tower, good morning. Line up and wait, runway 06. Line up and wait, uh, 06, United 39. Hello, American. Turkish 7 Papa Victor, taxi holding point Alpha 18. Taxi holding point Alpha 18, Turkish 7 Papa Victor, confirm with the follow me. Uh, negative, that's just there for a check. Roger. It's amazing that the second valve, the disused runway 30, doesn't even look like a runway anymore. No, it really doesn't. And it's, uh, it's only been gone a year. Turkey 7 Papa Victor, contact Edmund Ground, 121.755. Bye bye. 21755, goodbye, sir. I can see the Turkish just taxiing out now. Sure. He must, he's had a long t uh, landing roll there. He's at the last taxi with. Uh, his stand might have been occupied, so they just want to hold him somewhere, or... Yeah. Um, Charlie wants the vacation point before that, it's maybe closed. You can see two other uh, 757s from Delta parked at the stand there. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's a lot more traffic. We'll be getting the Delta 76 in lately as well. And yeah, kind of the Rouge is in now, there are 76 as well. Okay, so that's us south of the center line, so we'll call it out. Yep. Call to Oscar, south of 06 center line. Roger. United 39, runway 06, clear take off, wind 0505 zero five zero five knots. We'll make our clear left take off, runway yeah, sure. 6, United at 39. Now those new stands are going to be done shortly. They built those really quickly as well. Yeah, it seems to be expanding exponentially this airport. All the time. So we're not going to turn eastbound again. Thinking ahead, what's my next point? Arthur's seat, I can see it brilliant. Yeah. And obviously, Muscle is right behind it. Yeah. So very, very easy. 
Um, we should be passing, I'm just trying to locate Murray Fields, which is right ahead of us there. I might just go... Okay, lane 1278, lane up on me, run me 06. Slightly to the right. Lane up on me, 06, one, two, and Hopefully, uh, shortly, you'll be switching me back to the radar. Yeah, I would have done it already. <laughs> About the wing table right there is Kurt, obviously, um, Hermiston, Hermiston yeah. Gate. I always thought they should have made the guy lift because it's got a big green roof and it's just easier to spot, but... It's interesting to see all the VRPs and see how visible or yeah. not so much. Obviously, the ski surface is really good off the seat. Hermiston Gate, less so. Okay, line 1278, runway 06, clear to take Muscle off. Muscle Barrage really easy, because we got the racetrack, that's usually my, yeah. my bearing. Right? Take off uh, 06, clear 1278. And Matt, if you just look just a little bit ahead there, can you see Murrayfield? That's right in front of us there. I'll, I'll make a, a small left turn so you can see a bit better. There? Yeah, I got it. So I'll fly pretty close to the castle. All right, so you can see the gardens there. That's Edinburgh Castle. Never gets boring to see it from here. Never, ever, ever gets boring. And you can see they're, they're preparing the, uh, the seats for the uh, tattoo. Yeah, for the the down down down. Approach again, 121 decimal 205. Bye-bye. Pushing to approach, 121 decimal 205. Golf show the Oscar, thank you. Edinburgh. Edward Radar, back with uh, Golf Bravo Hotel Julie Oscar, back with you, 2000, uh, just overhead Arthur C. Golf Bravo Hotel Julie Oscar, Edward Roger, report leaving the zone, Muscle Bra. Report leaving the zone, Muscle Bra, Golf Julie Oscar. Got the Parliament right there, and you got the Queen's uh, Summer House, where you want to call it. Hey, yeah. Got the football stadium. I mean, as a as a VFR pilot, um, I learned to fly in Paris, right? The Paris area, mm. it's very very flat, and it's just fields. There's really, you know, a Charles de Gaulle is a is a class A airspace, so there's never any opportunity for me to go anywhere close to it or close to Paris. Um, so it's a lot harder because everything kind of looks the same. It's harder than your bearings, but I feel like Scotland in general, whether it's a loch or a hill or a river, it's, it's, you know, as long as you're thinking ahead and you're looking outside, uh, it's, it's fairly straightforward. And you can see this transit is, is really that simple. Runner one eight Yankee Yankee descent altitude four thousand feet. Yeah. But I can see the racetrack just ahead there. Yes, got it. Yep. So I'll just kind of aim for that. Sure. This will be really handy for me to make sure I stay outside of the, air, the airspace. I think over the water it's really hard to gauge, but because I actually have it on the map, yeah. uh, I'll make sure that... I'm just literally looking on the ring there for yeah. the... Uh I've never used this. No. No, I will have. If I have Sky Demon, I don't really need it. So my phone is telling me it's time for a free to check. So free to check is F R E D A. So first we check our fuel. We need to switch our fuel. So fuel pump comes on. Push to the left side. Tango, Roger, report your speed. Cars for radio. So we're on approach. What will be our next frequency? It'll probably be five. So I'll compare five. One three zero four five five. Engine. So I'll just do a quick engine run. So what I do is I let my carb heat run. While I'm doing that, I'm checking everything is in the green. Mm -hmm. I'm still charging. Gyro looks okay. The carbon monoxide detector looks okay. And I've only lost about 50 RPM. So that means there's no ice detected. You can switch that off. 37 tango limit, the sand tells you 4,000 feet. D stands for directional heading. So again, just making sure this is aligned. This is actually a pretty decent one because it's still fairly accurate. We're not too far off. Heating flight level 80 with I keep level here. And A is for altitude, so QNH is 1008. Everything goes good. Free check complete. Current number three, I can clear that. 40 miles from touchdown, descent altitude 6,000 feet, QNH 1008. So I'll uh, just yeah, wait for his call to finish and I'll let him know we're over Muscle Bro. QNH 1008, Shuttle 1, thank you. Golf Tree Oscar is overhead Muscle Bro 1800, and we're making uh, our left turn towards Kirkcaldy, requesting basic service. Uh, 
Well, South Carolina says basic service. Basic service, golf to the Oscar. And for uh, radar, a very good afternoon. Stoberg, uh, four Bravos, the Luchos. Um, we're currently rooting towards Aberdeen. Well, you probably Butchers, saw... Uh, now it's going to be at Butchers. So I'm wondering if it's... That was much, incredibly uh, fun for me. You probably saw from the video, you, you, uh, the specific video you saw from my channel. And I wanted the Yankee Yankee to send to the three twenty that flew right above my head. Uh, that doesn't happen very <laughs> very often. That was a lot of fun. So to actually see, I could capture on a camera. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, three, two, five degrees. Well, to maintain that. So, okay, again, visually, what am I aiming for here? Well, I want to, turn right heading if you kind of look really far ahead to the shore, you can see these three big buildings. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. simple, yeah. right? So that's what I'm aiming for. So we're going to hit the hotel tango for 10, 2, L, 6, 6,000 feet, QH, 1, 0, 0, 8. A lot of the time, we couldn't air craft in on the course, we had to really want to get them down to 300 feet. Yeah, we established between the 7 and 10 tango in the report of speed. So cutting across at 11 and 11 and a half by 1 or 2 fours. Fifth and Tango Lima, Roger. It's all technically correct. Yep. It's just a bit of a pain. And the fifth and Colin, we would taken. normally be sent below three, so we'll either put them on the other side. I think you better call me there. I'll wait here for. I think you call me. I'm waiting for him to call again. Just here. Golf to Oscar, did you call? Golf to Oscar, did you call? Okay, so again, uh, thinking ahead, uh, can, we, can we see so the airfield from here? Uh, if I'm, you can turn right now, you spot zero three five, clear to Alice, approach from a zero six. So it's just, it should just be just to the left, and like half eleven or something like that. Exactly. So if you look just before the hill there, that's where Roth is. Golf to Oscar, speed five five, para drop thing is now active. Uh, Roger, Golf uh, Julia Oscar. We're just over Kirkcaldy now, uh, 1,900. Request frequency change to 513. I hope that's more 455. Special Oscar Roger, I'm just having 10 minutes, squawk 7000, goodbye. Frequency change approved, squawking 7000, thanks for the help, Golf Julia Oscar. Change sets for Bravo descent. Okay. Oh. So, Paradrop is active, unfortunately for us. So we'll call it now, just so that he knows we're arriving and we'll maybe hold here. Hi, Freddy O, Golf Bravo Hotel, Julia Oscar is back with you, Ryder Kirkcaldy, 2001008, request uh, airflight information for rejoin. Golf Bravo Hotel, Julia Oscar, we're on me 06 right hand. QV remains 9 or, nine or 4 hits of Pascal. I've no reported circuit traffic and the parachute aircraft on the ground. Uh, Roger, 06 right hand, QFV 9 or 9 or 4, and we'll be joining uh, the right hand 106 for full stop Golf Julia Oscar. Golf Julia Oscar, Roger. Okay, so we're going to start our descent. Actually, I'm going to be generous with myself. Hi, Frito Golf to the Oscar, I just correction, we'll be joining the right uh, base 06 for a full stop. Golf to the Oscar, Roger, I have no reported traffic at this time. Golf to the Oscar. It's quicker, I'll just join the base, right, because it's right there at the left of that village. So we're starting descending. Yep. Carb heat comes off. Over it is. At the airspeed, and we'll start descending to the target altitude, which is 1,000 feet. The 1,000 feet is your altitude at the very end of your downwind leg, right? And we're going to start descending from there. I'm going to accelerate this a little bit. Carb heat comes on, not because it's cold, but because as you're descending, uh, the risk of the water, the, the droplets of water in the air, uh, the condensation actually crystallizing is a lot higher. Okay. So it's nothing to do with, you know, oh, it's, it's winter, so I have to put it on, but in the summer I don't need it. It doesn't matter. As long as you're descending, as a precaution, you're always putting your carb heat on. The problem with that is as you're putting your carb heat on, it reduces the airflow your air intake into the engine, and so you lose a little bit of the performance. Hmm. So if I have to go around, the first thing I need to do is switch that off so I actually have full power. Sure. So let's just fly well clear of that village so we're nice to these people and don't wake them up on the Saturday morning. Looking at the wind cone, wind looks pretty calm. A little bit low here. So pump comes on, lighting lights come on. Um, we're just a little bit low, so I'm compensating here. Normally, I wouldn't be flying this fast. The Golf Julie Oscar is uh, right base 06. Golf Julie Oscar, Roger. That's two, fla two notches of flaps, so I'll have to compensate a little bit. Yep. You can see the runway wet there. Looking maybe a little high. The right turn. I'm trying to maintain 75 knots. 
approach. Pass us on final. Golf to Oscars on final 06. Golf to Oscar, Oscars, right. Last notch of flaps. Yep. Again, a little bit of wind to the right. It's less common. What but, is uh, the stall speed on this? It uh, depends on the, the flap setting, but this should be about 45 knots. Oh, that's fine. That's kind of theoretical, right? right? What kind of Depend down speed are you looking for? All right, let me let me just focus on this. Yes, yeah, sure, go for it. Again, a little bit of wind to the right. those birds. A little bit off center. But I'm going to be kind with myself. This is a very narrow runway way, so... Clear the active. Sorry, it takes a bit of concentration, so just want to make sure I'm focusing on the right thing. Golf Street Oscar is clear zero six feet. Charlie, we're taxiing to parking. Golf Street Oscar, Roger. This is going to be a tight squeeze. Hmm. I can work this like a TV twenty or something. All right, I'm going to need your help. Just if you can make sure and confirm that the right wing is clear from his. Airplane. You're, you're well clear at the moment. Well clear. Got a good 15 feet. That one's going to be tighter. Yeah, well, we might have to push it back a yeah, little bit. Yeah, that's fine. I'll push it. Oh. Yeah, just leave it here. <laughs> we'll push it. All right. Go. No brakes come on. And we get our handy little checklist. You don't turn off the airplane like you turn off a car. There's still some checks to be done. All right, so after landing checklist, car beat is off. Flaps are up. Trimmers sit back to neutral. Throttle friction is loosened. Fuel pump comes off. Radio now is all, I'll leave on for now. Location is not obstructing. Parking brake is on. RPM is 1200. Magneto, just check for dead cuts. Careful because he's got quite close there. I lost my train of thought. There you go. Throttle. We've run it for about 1200 RPM. I'm just going to note the time here. So you're nice. As our brakes on, time. Battle to idle. You're too lean, and what that does is just smothers. Yeah. Engine, and everything comes off.